Matthew, Mike, we've got him in a range of 9 to 12. Matthew, the highest on Derek Carr. Mike, you're the lowest, but we all sort of see him the same way. A promising player, an outstanding player. He's got good weapons and a very good offensive line. Yeah, I mean, and I think this came up the other day. I would agree with with Mike's argument that if you want to knock him down a little bit, there's not a lot of depth in terms of his receiving targets should something happen to Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree. And, you know, Amari Cooper has already been banged up a little bit in uh, training camp so far. Having said that, I mean, you just you think about Derek Carr, who last year from weeks eight to thirteen was QB six, and it's it's a little bit of a cherry picking stat, right? But it just shows that he's somebody that can play at an elite QB one level for an extended period of time. That's the only thing that I think that one shows. He's improved every single year he's been in the NFL, and just from the eye test for me. This guy is a legit NFL stud quarterback. Here's my only question, Mike, is he had an incredible number of touchdown passes last year, but he had just three games with 300 or more passing yards. Typically, if, I think if I'm going to lean on a quarterback for one set, it's one that is prone to court, to touchdown passes. But do we know that this is something that can, can stay consistent for Carr from last year to this? I think it will be a high-scoring offense, but I'm still not sure just how good he is. I mean, we know Interesting. That, really? We, we, yeah, wow. and we know that pressure... He better be good. They're paying a ton of money. Yeah, I, I would certainly hope so for their, for their sake, but... Uh, we know that pressure on a quarterback can make a guy go from Blaine Gabbert to Aaron Rodgers. And they, we know they have an elite offensive line. That's been a big deal. But look a little deeper. I mean, you look at uh, over the past three years, he's been in the league three years, the worst yards per attempt in the NFL, a minimum of 750 attempts. Brock Osweiler has the worst. Derek Carr's second. Blake Bortles third. Joe Flacco fourth. Colin do you have any? St- do you have that, that same bit of information over the past two seasons as opposed to just instead of including he's, his rookie yeah, season? Yeah, he's, he's right at league average in yards per attempt or gotcha. maybe a little below, but you'd expect a, a little bit more. And another concern I have with him, and, and uh, this is interesting because he was hurt last year. He didn't play a lot late. It's a small sample, but he's dropped off in the second half quite a bit. And, and I'll, I'll take out his rookie year. You know, let's just scrub that out of it and just look at the past two years. Weeks 1-8, to eight, 32 touchdowns, 6 picks. Weeks 9-17, to 17, 28 and 13, and his completion percentage drops from 66 to 59, yards per attempt from 7.8 to 6.6. Six. So is he wearing down late in games? Is he wearing down late in the season? Can he not play in the cold as well? I mean, that, that's something so far in his career that I'm keeping an eye on. 